I am a painter and a woodcarver. I, I was born in Bessemer, Alabama, 1939. I grew up in totally strict segregation at, at the height of the Jim Crow. So all of my early childhood and early adulthood was completely constructed through American racism. I went to Tuskegee Institute and after Tuskegee to um, Southern University in Baton Rouge. I got on a Greyhound bus from New Orleans to New York in time to roll at the Cooper Union Art School. I work abstractly as a matter of choice. Of all the different disciplines out there, I find that abstraction is the thing that I need to get across what I want to say. As far as a meaning of abstraction, I use the word distillation, to distill something. I maintain that it's in abstraction more so than any other form of art, where it distills every emotion that we have. We distill it. We distill it into an essence. And so for me, the meaning of abstraction is distillation. politics, you know, identity issues, nature, all forms of human interaction. I find that it's possible through abstraction to take that and distill it. I was looking for a way to extend the sculptures conceptually, extend the material, which started off as just as wood, became wood with metal. Wood with bone, wood with things from the sea. the sculpture that led me to the concept to make a painting as opposed to paint a painting. How I make the sculpture, the physical aspects of it, has translated over into the paint. I grew up in American apartheid, strict segregation. Obama's election, for me, was <laughs> ultimate phenomenon. <laughs> to go to the White House and to have him shake my hand and put the medal around my neck, it doesn't get any better than that. Your attempt toward African identity, gaining wisdom from the ancestors. That's what it was about.